Trying to hit Bridges deep. Jed Joseph, great coverage, breaks up the pass. Got a PBU press break up there. Second and ten. There we go. Here's Latham. Looking to throw. He's got pressure from the backside. And he's going to be sacked. Yeah. Nice sack there by Noah. It's going to be a sack for the Trojans. And it's going to be set up a third and 20. They sent Noah Salvar on the blitz. And turned out very, very nice for the Trojan defense. Yeah, the defense just on point tonight. For sure. For sure. All right. Here's Austin High, third and 20. Latham drops back. Tries a big pressure hit. Pick it up! Oh! Colin Hayes, Kevin oh! Savage. There he goes. There he goes. Colin Hayes, pick six, pick six, pick six. Trojan touchdown. Colin Hayes, number four, with the pick six down the sidelines. My man. Colin Haynes, Whew. touchdown Trojan. We've been talking about the defense playing well, playing well. Huge turnover, huge turnover for the Trojans. And Trojans jump out to a 6-0 lead on Colin Haynes, pick six. I got goosebumps. That was so exciting. All right, Zane Cook for the try. Good snap, good hold. Zane Cook boots it, and it is good. Trojans lead 7 0. Exciting football, Stu. Ooh. Defense is the story, right? Defense is the story, and we talked about it in pregame. How would the Trojans respond? How would the defense respond? Thus far, they have. They've put the only points on the board. What an exciting, exciting, good coverage there. Trojans brought pressure, interception. Colin Haynes down the sidelines. Great start for the Trojans. Here we go. We're going to have another look at the Trojans defense right now. Here comes the kick coverage team. But a good start for the Trojans. A minute 43 left in the first quarter. Trojans up 7-3. Interception, Colin Haynes. Pick six. He kind of stumbled coming down the sidelines. I was like, come on, Haynes. Haynes kicked in the speed, beat him down the sideline for a touchdown. Good job. You know, on that, it's always good when you don't have a silly block in the back or something. Yeah. Good. You know, those defensive guys, they get their hands on the ball. Yeah, yeah. It's just, let's, gotta make it all happen now. That's exactly right. All right, Zane Cook to kick off for the second time for the Trojans. Had a good first kick. Here's Big Zane. Here's the kick, kind of a line drive, but yeah. he kicked it hard. Here we go, here's the Trojans on coverage. They're gonna, oh, he's breaking tackles, but it'll be brought down right there. It's going to be Gage Webb on the tackle. Labo in there. But a pretty good return there by Bats for Austin High. Here come the Trojan defense. Another look. Yeah, it's kind of the best thing about a defensive uh, touchdown. You get to bring the defense right back out. Yes, you do. And uh, do it again. Yes, you do. Here come the Trojans. I'll check and see who's that quarterback. Oh, nice run out there. 33. There's going to be a late flag, hopefully a hold. I think they've been holding all game. Yeah, I've seen uh, a few times where I'm wondering where the flags were. Yeah, Rodriguez, good run. He spun off a couple uh, missed tackles. But uh, we'll see what the call is out there. Davenport's back in the game at quarterback, but it looks like they're moving them back, and it's a hold on Austin High that the Trojans will definitely accept. And there it is. All right. It's going to be first and a lot for Austin High, which is advantage Trojan defense. Mm -hmm. 
Jack's got to get to the hill line and, and pull out of it. He's going way too far. All right, here we go. First and about 20. Davenport back at quarterback. He's going to turn, hand it to Rodriguez, and there. Oh, it looks like they may have done a little trickeration. Austin, I mean, Anderson defense. Looks like they flipped Middleton to the other side, and they ran right to him. Yeah, it just... Uh, you, the, the talk about Middleton, man. He's just a freak athlete. You put him wherever, and things happen. Right? Things happen. And I like moving him around. He's yeah. a smart kid and a great player. And sure looked. I'll take it every time. It's going to be second. 20 for Austin High. Davenport checking the play, talking to Rodriguez. And the shotgun. Second and 20. Here's Davenport. He's looking. He's looking. A lot of time. Looking deep. They got a lot of time. He's going to move. Oh, boy. Oh River my. Anderson just mauled him. The sophomore River Anderson absolutely piled right. Yeah, he got comfortable. Yes, And then he, he got too comfortable. Yeah. And then he got really uncomfortable. Yeah, River Anderson, a great athlete. Sophomore defensive end. It... it, it for the, for the first time in a while, Anderson truly has a huge depth advantage that they've never had. You see a lot of sophomores in there. Looks like the Trojans are going to bring pressure here. Why not? Third and a mile. All right, here it is. They're going deep. Got a man down. Oh, boy. The fingertips. Oh, boy. Eddie Joseph, his father, is not going to be pleased. <laughs> but regardless, it's a defensive stop yes. and a pass breakup. But great cover. It's amazing because it looked from our vantage point that he had a step on Simon Burns and in came Jed Joseph. Simon Burns closed the gap and almost the Trojans' second pick of the night. All right, here's Latham to punt. And I think Ed's back to return this one. We'll see. He gets it off. It's a line drive. And it's too short. We're going to let it bounce. We're going to have the ball about midfield. Got a pretty good roll, but there's going to be a flag on the play, which you hate seeing because it's fourth and too much. So we've got to we got to really hope it's not something dreadful on the Trojans that would give them a first down. Them being Austin High. We'll see. We're still waiting on the officials' call here. But I'm afraid here comes the Trojan. Is that what it was? No. Where, where, what is this? I mean, because. They're coming up quite a ways here. I mean, that's sure. It was fourth and 20. Why? Okay. Okay, let's go with it. took that long. All right, so they declined the penalty. I don't know what was going on. It, maybe they didn't. Oh, it's a penalty. God. Up here in the booth, they were they were uh, thinking it was running into the kicker. There was a little bit of confusion up here with the Trojan coaching staff on what actually this call is. I don't think they've even signaled it. So what is this? Is this an untimed play at the end of the quarter? What is this? I guess if it's a offensive or defensive penalty, I have no idea. But it is the end of the first quarter. But can the quarter end on a? Is that it? I don't know. I have no idea. Now they're flipping sides. Yeah, so it's going to be first and 10 Trojans from the Austin High 48-yard line. It's a great field position, best field position of the night for the Trojan offense. And you know it's four-down territory already, mm -hmm. basically, when we're on that side of the field, which I love. Puts a heck of a lot of defense on the – I mean, a heck of a lot of pressure on the defense. Good crowd here tonight at Nelson Field. A lot of Austin High folks. A lot of, of course, the Anderson faithful are here in droves. So it's going to be first and ten 
Trojans from the 28. I mean, excuse me, the 48. Hatcher next to Gephardt. Here's Gephardt's shotgun. Fakes the Hatcher. He's going to throw out here. Tristan Wadelick, tough running. Gets about eight yards. It's going to be set up second. Got seven. Going to set up second and three for uh, the Trojans. Yeah, just some just some success, regular success on, on offense is what they, just like that. Yep. Flared out there, let Tristan Wade like a superior athlete run yeah. with the ball. That's a that's almost a version of the running game mm -hmm. when you just flick it out there and let your receivers go, working the sidelines, spreading them out, getting positive yards. Then you can hit them with a deep shot. But sometimes when your running game's not working, that's an effective way to move the ball. Here's Dayton back at running back, flicks over to the left of Gephardt. Gephardt from the shotgun, Wade looking in motion. He's going to give to Gephardt. Gephardt's got room to run. Cuts up field. Gets about seven. A good run. Again, yeah. we're mixing up how we're running the ball. Hopefully going to open up lanes for Hatcher and Dayton late in the games up the middle. There's an Austin High player down. And we'll check the status there. But looks like he's holding a knee. Ho obviously, early in the season, we're always hoping for these kids that it's cramps. Yeah. Um, we saw a lot of that, of course, in the McCallum game. A lot of cramp injuries with the trainers out there. But a good start right there to this drive. Threw it out the wide, threw it out wide, and then a good run by Tristan. Tristan was a great Pop Warner running back. Yeah, okay. I, I bet. I mean, it's just, you know, a series of good, of good calls, executions, yep. picking up, you know, good yards every single play, good blocking. Uh, all the way around. Yeah, very good blocking. This Trojan offensive line, we haven't talked enough about them this year. They've been excellent, excellent in the trenches and really giving Gephardt time. And usually those quick hitters, too, are, are so – they help the line, you know, getting it out wide, getting them in space. Um, but the Austin High, I haven't picked up his number, but he is still down. But it looks like a knee or – he's got – a knee up um, but they're going to help him up and help him out there but 11.02 in the second quarter Anderson High School thanks to a about a 60 yard INT return for a touchdown pick six by Colin Haynes lead Austin High 7 nothing. Here comes the Trojan offense back on the field. It's going to be second and three for Anderson. And it's going to be Gephardt with Ben Hatcher to the side. Here is Gephardt going to give to Al Fumbles. It looks like we had trouble with that exchange. Mm -hmm. Gephardt held on just a little too long, and ball hit the turf, but he quickly recovered. Now it's going to be third and six for the Trojans. They're down there in four down territory, so sometimes you can pick up three, make it a more manageable fourth down. Obviously, a first down would be huge here. Gephardt in the shotgun. Takes a snap, fakes it. He's looking to run, gets outside, breaks a tackle, breaks another, gets a wow. first down with tough running. What a play by the senior Brady Gephardt. Making a whole lot out of what uh, looked like a busted play. Yes. Unbelievable run by Gephardt. Almost made a improper reference <laughs> with chicken salad involved, but... <laughs> I was thinking lemons. I was going to go yeah, look. lemons out of the chicken yeah, salad, good. but you know, but a fabulous play by <laughs> Gephardt there. All right, here's first and ten from the twenty of Austin High. Gephardt, they're going to bring pressure. Austin High, he sees it and runs. Little shake, oh. little break, little. Oh, nice and a good smart slide there. Yeah, he's got the first down. He's got fifteen yards. No need to tee up there by the goal line, but a first down. What a run by Gephardt. Two yeah, in that, a row. Yeah, he. Decision making is just uh, excellent tonight excellent. for Brady. Yes, that's the benefit of having a senior quarterback. 
Well, here's Gephardt. We've got first down from the eight, first and goal. Trojans really, obviously, would love to punch that in. Now we're back in the pistol with Dayton way back there. Here's Dayton. Oh, oh it's smashed right at the line of scrimmage. Looked like they may have jumped off sides. That's a little homerish. Yeah. They brought us pressure from the edge. Um, and he was right on Dayton. Nowhere to go. All right. It's going to be second and goal. Here's where I, I don't know this has become a pet peeve of mine, but just let's get seven or score. I'm okay with scoring. But get seven. Make make those down to distances shorter that we can execute on a lot of plays. Here's Gephardt. Shotgun. They bring pressure. Good block by Dayton. Rolls left. Not a lot of room. He's going to try to flick it. Ooh. Oh, a push there. Kind again. of a late hit out of bounds, but they're not going to call that. All right. It's going to be. It's going to be third and goal from the 14. Here comes Gerlich into the game. Little dual quarterback. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we have in store. They're going to put Gerlich out wide to the right. Here comes the play call for the Trojans. Whistle. I don't know what it is. Maybe blood. I don't know what it is. No, He's got to come off. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's a mouthpiece issue or something. Gephardt obviously yeah. not pleased. He's rubbing his elbow. Yeah, it looks oh, like. Oh, it's blood on the feet. Do we still do that? Uh, apparently. Oh, my gosh. That's what antibiotics are for. We're fine. I agree. It's a little staff infection. All right, there. obviously the Anderson medical staff, one of the greats in all of Texas high school football got him wrapped quickly, but Gerlich's going to take the snap here on third and goal. Here's Max. Straight drop. He's looking right. He's got room to run. He's going to run. He's going to tuck oh it. Oh, my. Nice run by Gerlich. He's all the way down to the five-yard line. Nice little run by Max. Max, of course, another wonderful athlete with a lot of speed. We'll see if he's going to stay in there. Trojans are going to go for it. It looks like fourth and goal from the five. We'll see what we can dial up here. Coach Napoli, Coach Hatcher, see what they dial up for the Trojans. Fourth and goal from the five. A little bunch formation. Here's Gephardt rolling left. He's looking. Oh, he's looking. He's going to get sacked way down. I thought he, for a minute, he had room to run, but he got swallowed up pretty quick there by the Austin High defense. Yeah. Are well, they going to put it in the hands of the Anderson defense here? But, uh, you know, a lot of coaches say you go for it down there because even if you don't get it, it sets them up a terrible field position. Sure, and the way the defensive is, has been playing tonight for Anderson. Great. That's a, that's, a, that's a wager you make. Absolutely. All right. I think Davenport's back at quarterback uh, for Austin High in the pistol. He's going to turn and hand it. Good defense. Trojans right there. And that's Middleton over there. Benitez, a lot of Trojans. That's the other thing we're seeing. It's not just one guy making the tackle. You're swarming. Yeah, the swarm. So a second... Going to set up second and nine. Great stop there on first down by the Trojans. Second and nine for Austin High. Looks like Rodriguez and Davenport in the backfield. Shotgun snap. Trojans bringing pressure. They're going to throw. There's Colin Haynes, but he's got bridges over there for a first down. Trojans brought pressure, but it was uh, picked up pretty well by the Austin High offensive line. Second time Bridges has been targeted uh, by Davenport, or rather. But it's going to be first down from the 25 for Austin High. Davenport, he's going to look. He's going to throw out wide. Simon Burns over there, but a great, great tackle. Yeah. Great swarm. A swarm. Sometimes Simon Burns over there did not initially make the tackle, but he slowed that runner down. Yeah. And I think that's Jed Joseph over there, which 
This is his first time back playing football since Pop Warner, and he still can tackle. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, just throw bodies at him, slow him down. Yes, for sure. All right. Here's a second and 11 for Austin High in the pistol. There we go. It's going to be a turn and a give. Oh, great tackle. Yeah. Great defense. I don't want to speak too soon, but it feels like Anderson has shored up some of that up the middle difficulties they had against Rouse and McCallum. Yeah. It, well, we haven't seen it. So, evidence is yes. Yes. Well, and here we go. We're going to have a timeout here with 6.32 left in the second quarter. It's going to be third and 10, Austin High. Trojan defense has been stout here in this ballgame thus far. Again, the only touchdown, Colin Haynes on an interception return. And the Trojans lead 7 nothing. but a pretty crucial early on third and 10 for Austin High. Obviously stopping them down here in their own territory would allow the Trojans to have good field position, presumably. And it's a big third down. It's a good opportunity for the Trojan defense. Yeah, I think uh, Austin High seems to be content with the slow, methodical approach. Yeah, they really are. Approach. We are. Not to kind of be a snob here, but we're used to this up-tempo, and I don't know I don't know that I can wait. My ADD's kicking in too much. I can't wait on them. Davenport. Get Sorry, let me send line. this tweet real quick, and yeah, I'll get exactly. back to responding to what you just Golly, said. I just read <laughs> of mice and men over here. And then, all right, here we go. Third down. They got a tight end in the game. Kind of a big formation. Here we go. Trojans are going to bring pressure. They're going deep, looking. Oh, oh what a catch! Unbelievable. Well, it wasn't the up the middle. No, it wasn't. But that is a big play yeah. by Austin High right there. Was that Bridges? Unbelievable catch there. Robert Bridges, first down, Austin High, a big play there. Here's Davenport in the shotgun. He's looking to throw. No, he's going to tuck it and run. A little bit of holding there, but he's going to be wrapped up by Gage Webb and a bevy of Trojans right there. Yeah. Big stop. Little quarterback sneak, and we really, really, yeah, Simon Burns kind of getting a little feisty down there. Yeah, I yeah. I like that spirit. Yeah, you got to love just the, the swarm. The, you know, go back to the D. They're just playing on point tonight you know give up the one big yeah, play one with big the play. spectacular catch i mean sometimes that just happens That's what, yeah again cover jed joseph right on there on him mm -hmm. but here are the trojans right here gonna be second and ten davenport and rodriguez in the pistol gonna be a give to rodriguez cuts back all right here we go Gage Webb on the tackle. Joaquin coming up. It's going to be third down and seven. Third down and seven for Austin High. I think they're in four down territory being on this side of the field. Here's Davenport. Third down. Looks like he's going to give it straight up the middle, and all the Trojans are there. What a play. Big River Anderson on the tackle. A lot of Trojans involved. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be fourth down and five, so it, it is four, four down territory for Austin High here. Yeah. Exactly how you want him to respond after the big play. Yep. Just come back with right back to the bread and butter, just stopping him. Swarm bodies everywhere. Yep. 4.33 left in the second quarter. Austin High's going for it. Fourth down and six. Motion across the field. Here's Davenport. Rolling. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to flare it out wide. Oh, oh, there's a flag down. There's some sort of flag down. Around it may hopefully got a push off. That's a real homer call, but hopefully we got a little push off on Austin High. I think complete anyway, Coach. There's a lot of talk in the booth that, that that pass was not complete, which again would be huge. 
because obviously it'd be Anderson Ball. Right. Let's see what the call is. Pass interference on oh. Austin High. <laughs> Did they rule it a catch? Obviously, we're going to decline it if it's if he didn't catch the ball. What did the official on the far side call? Did he call? And we're going to take the penalty if they didn't. Yeah. So the Anderson coaches up here saw it better than me and Stu, but they claim he was bobbling it out of bounds. You can watch that replay on our crack camera staff. But obviously, if they rule the catch, we're going to take that penalty and push them back, and which we are. So it's going to be a fourth and probably 20. We'll see what, if Austin High, they still have their offense on the field. But a big gamble here, if they choose to, now they're going to bring in the punch. They got a 4.15 left. Well, they're going to call timeout. But, Stu, if they go for it here, it gets a little dicier for them because. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of clock, and any incomplete pass, we get the ball at midfield. Yes. And there's a lot. Now, you got to watch out. They converted a long third down on that bomb to Bridges. Yeah. That also took a spectacular catch. Not that they're not you know, capable of doing that again, but the pressure's been strong from our defense. Uh, you know, they've got to go at least 21 yards, right? They, yes, they do. I mean, I guess they are playing the uh, – yeah, they're going to the go field for position it. game here too. So yeah, they are. All right, looks like the Trojans are going to go for it here on uh, fourth, and they got bunch of receivers trips right. Davenport and uh, we'll see. Here's the Davenport in the shotgun. Straight drop. He's looking. He's going to go deep. Jet Joseph back there. Great coverage. Should have knocked the ball down. Now there's a flag. It, it would, Jet Joseph had a wonderful coverage. Uh, and the, the receiver was behind him. We'll see what the call is. Or maybe he went, maybe he went out of bounds. Sideline warning. Something over there. He threw it out of bounds. So we'll see what the call is. And while you love the interception, that's a very deep. Yeah. It's almost like there's you want him to knock it down. Why yeah. Why don't you drop that one, Jed? <laughs> what are you doing, Jed? Yeah. yeah. Why, are you, why are your hands so good? Eddie, <laughs> why, why did he choose to catch that one? Well, an interception nonetheless. Another turnover. Stat line. Trojans will set up shop around the six. But I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. That's a a forty three yard difference. Yeah, it's a pretty good punt. It's a pretty good punt. But Trojans have plenty of time. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Good stop by the Trojan defense. Again, we've touted them all night. They've really come to play. It's going to be first and ten for the Trojans at the eight yard line. It's going to be Gerlich and Gephardt at quarterback, that two-quarterback system lining up Gephardt in the running back slot. Here's Gerlich. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand to Gephardt as a running back. Squirts gets a yard. Gerlich in there taking the snaps at quarterback. <laughs> Trojans getting very creative with this two quarterback set here. It's going to be Gerlich at quarterback. Get part of run back. Here's Gerlich. Oh. It looks like Austin High jump, but I believe they jumped with contact. It's that quick, exaggerated clap by Gerlich and or Gephardt, and it usually results in five yards against the defense. The encroachment? Encroachment, yes. So it sets up a much better second and four for Anderson deep in their own territory. Three minutes, 23 seconds left on the clock. Here's Gerlich. 
Gerlick checks, gets another play call, looks at his play sheet, small bounces out wide. Gephardt still at running back. Here's Gerlich. Calls for a man in motion. No one to be found. Looking, we're going to call timeout. A little bit of confusion there. Yeah. I will say this a little inside baseball here. Trojan coaching staff up here in the booth sharing it with us, having a little trouble getting those play calls down to the sideline, mm -hmm. which always tends to happen in big, stressful game situations. Right. I don't know what you do in that situation. Break out the flags. You break out the flags. Flash some light. sort of deal. Flashcards. Whatever you can do. But there's 2.57 left in the second quarter. Trojans up 7 nothing in what has crazily been a defensive battle this far. All right. Here are the Trojans. Gerlich's going to stay in at quarterback. Gephardt's going to stay in that running back, QB2, whatever you want to call it. But it's second and three for Anderson. Here's Gerlich. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to mm. take a sack all the way down at the three, which is tough. You almost can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the last thing. Yes. The last thing that you want right there. All right. Looks like Gephardt's going to slip back there at quarterback, and Gerlich's going to spread out wide at receiver. Here comes Dayton Williams into the game. Gerlich's going to bounce out. Hatcher's going to flip to receiver. But it's going to be third and 14 for the Trojans. They're going to let some clock go, which is smart. Get it down here. There's 2.20 left in the second quarter. And really, you're just looking to get somebody deep at this point. Here's Gephardt. Oh, he's going to give it inside handoff. Oh, and the Austin High just smothered him. Yeah, about out to the two, one or two right there. A lot of times those draw plays on those long third downs can pop, but it did not. Mm -hmm. They were not fooled there. All right. Well, it seems like we're going to let a lot of clock go, which is very smart. Austin High not get choosing to use their timeouts here. But we're going to probably bring it all the way down to a minute 17 if we can get there. And it looks like they're going to let us do it. So it's fourth and 16 Trojans down from their own two-yard line. We call timeout. There's going to be a minute 23 left in the second quarter. A minute 23 till halftime. And it looks like the Trojans will surely punt. Trojans up 7 nothing on Austin High in it, this defensive battle in the district opener for your Anderson Trojans. We've had lots of compliments on the stream quality today. Appreciate that. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Special shout outs there. It must be flawless at home on your streaming devices. Yeah. Well, not not the only ones with the network issues if we you know with the play calls not getting down to the sideline. Absolutely. Line. All right, here's Pops from literally the back of the end zone. Just trying to get good there it is, good snap. Pops. Get it off, get it on the ground. There you go. Get it, get it. Here's Hatcher. What a good play. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Son of a gun. That would have been huge. All right. Well, good coverage by Ben. You know, Ben Hatcher is the, I believe, the deep snapper. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hatcher was in there. Of course, Grayson Lake in there. Good coverage. We're going to need a big defensive stop here. Best field position of the game here for Austin High. And here we go. Davenport's in there. Back at quarterback. And we'll see what Austin High has on tap. Bats in the backfield with Davenport. Davenport looking long and deep. Good coverage down there. Great no call. That... I love that because that is not interference. Mm -hmm. 
and there was contact down there, but it was it was good coverage by Jeff. And it, sometimes I feel like these refs want to insert themselves in the game, make a call. Oh, look at me! I'm doing such a good job. Great no call. <laughs> yeah. All right, second and ten from the Anderson 28 yard line. Davenport. He's got Rodriguez in the backfield with him, out of the shotgun. Here's Davenport. He's got a man over there. Oh, he breaks a tackle down there around the seven-yard line. A good pass, pitch, and catch over there for Austin High. Tomas Benitez back there to finally wrap him up, but a good play by Austin High here. It's going to set up Austin High. First and goal from the six with 54 seconds left in this first half yeah with all the praise we've given the defense this is where we they really <laughs> it'd right, be huge we've leaned on them all game right but it'd be huge if we could get a stop here even are. cut them to three here's davenport he's going to roll right looking to throw looking to run he's just right. going to go out of bounds but look i mean if you could i'm sure you sit on the screen they tackled three of our guys out of bounds yeah i i would have called the hold but here we go 42 seconds it's going to be Second and goal from the Trojan six. Again, it'd be a huge stop if Anderson could somehow get away with even a field goal here. That would be massive. All right. Here is second and six. Davenport out of the shotgun. He's going to roll right. Similar looking play. He's going to flick it. Oh, good night. Oh my gosh! Ball was tipped. Ball bounced in the air, oh. then bounced off the Trojan defenders and straight into the Austin High receivers' hands for a touchdown. Austin High. Oh, just heartbreaking. What you, oh, that was uh, the turnover we needed down yeah, there. That was just great coverage. Mm -hmm. Ball was batted in the air. We had a pick and. Uh, just heartbreaking. All right. Here's the point after. Into it, and it is good. And so, with 32 seconds left, it's going to be 7-7, seven to seven, Austin High versus Anderson. Whew. This is the kind of thing that happens in these rivalry games, district games. It's oh, just... It's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Because we had it. I think I just screamed for the play-by-play. -play. It was terrible, but... Oh, a tough break for the Trojans right there because we had it. Well, here is Trojans kick coverage. First time we've seen them tonight. As you can recall from the opening opening kick of this 2023 season in the Tiger Shack Bowl, Zayden Sharp almost broke it. Mm -hmm. And as you recall, last week I implored Liam McMillan to kick it on the ground in the same situation. We'll see if Austin High does the same. But I would love them to just kick it deep to Zayden Sharp. That would be phenomenal. Mm. Give us one chance to break one. But we'll see what Austin High chooses to do here on this kickoff with 32 seconds left in the first half Trojan 7 Austin High 7 district opener for the Trojans here we go waiting for the refs there's no TV timeouts here we go alright here come the Austin High kick team onto the field. We'll see if they pooch it or kick it or they're going to kick it high, but it looks like Anderson's going to have a chance to return this. That's Pops. Got a little room down to about the 25-yard line. I do like it. I said it last time. I love it that our up backs are returning. Yeah. Give us a shot. Who cares? Yeah. It, it feels like a lot of people want to fair catch that immediately and panic on the pooch kicks. But our guys are good athletes and smart. 
smart play to just return that and get positive yards. We almost broke a couple last week. All right, there's 27 seconds left. You'd think Trojans may run something safe here. You always have a threat if you can throw it to Austin High Deep. Here's Gerlich in. I like it at receiver. Gephardt at quarterback. We'll see what we do here. Here we go. Gephardt's going to pass. He ro looks right, rolls right, mm. throws it too high for Ed Small. 22 seconds left in the half. We'll see what the uh, Trojans do here. 22 seconds left. Second and 10 from the Trojan 26-yard line. Reminder at reminder at halftime, we'll do the uh, Anderson band performance. We'll probably just keep the camera on Austin. Hi, here we go. Here's Gephardt. He's going to roll. He's looking to run. Cuts it back. Got a little room. A little oh, room to work with. No Breaks room. it. Gets a first down. 16, 15 seconds left. They're going to stop the clock with 13. If the clock operator would stop it, and they're not going to stop it. And they should have stopped it. And it's now down to six. And they should have stopped it. And they should have stopped it. And we call timeout. But the somebody needs to radio down to the refs that there's not six seconds left. There's more like 12. And I don't know that they're going to do it. Maybe they will. Yeah, he's going to put the headset on. The old AISD volunteer clock operator. I hope he's a volunteer because that <laughs> is dreadful. Sometimes those buttons get sticky. They do. <laughs> uh, sweaty fingers, you know. I'm not sure they got the AC upstairs. You, you had one job. <laughs> you have one job. Okay. All right, here we go. Maybe you got some of that buttered popcorn. I don't know. Absolutely. I just broke it out, so apologies in the second half. <laughs> but we'll do the – we'll uh, keep the camera on the Austin High Band. We may pop in an interview, and then we'll give you full coverage of the Anderson Band and their sponsors – and the bell performance, which is always a big hit and treat on this Anderson broadcast. All right, here's Gephardt. Six seconds. They didn't repair the clock. What a travesty. Okay, here we go. Now we go. Surely they remedy this, and they're not going to. Say something. Right, we're trying to radio down to Hatcher. Napoli is. I love it. The officials just staring down the clock operator. This is high drama. It is. No idea. Yeah. Now well, hand here signals. we go. Napoli's going to go up there. Coach Napoli, offense coordinator. Hey, they want 13 seconds on the clock. They want 13 seconds of the clock. God, this is a tight operation. 13. I just yelled. I just yelled. You did. Sorry. I, it helped. I, I Every decibel so. helps. Well, I think we got to let them know yeah. what's going on. Right. 13 seconds. Golly, this is a pro's pro. There pro. we go. See? 13 Taking seconds now on the clock. It really probably could be 14 if you wanted to get greedy. They wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't know why they kept going, but here we go. 13 seconds left. First and 10 Trojans. One. I believe we've got a timeout left. Gephardt, he's going to roll. And no. he's oh, 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 oh. And he's trick him. No, Brady, let it go. I think it's going to be intentional grounding yeah. for 5.1 second. That'll be a loss of down. But surely I would think the Trojans have to kneel it at this point. Gephardt obviously didn't want to take the sack because he didn't want that clock to run out. He wants every point possible, which I admire tried to just flick it forward for an incompletion and they're going to call intentional grounding so what's the rule there if it, i thought once you were out of the hash marks am i thinking of uh, you have to throw it past the line of scrimmage ah, that's it and it's got to be out of bounds so that have was a rugby toss on it that. was a rugby toss okay they're going to let the clock run out here on this penalty and that's going to be the end of the half in a tight thriller from nelson field Austin High 7, Anderson Trojan 7, a defensive battle, and really the only offensive points by the Trojans, Colin Haynes' defensive pick six, and the only touchdown for Austin High was set up by great field position and a kind of a 
what should have been an interception for Anderson and turned out to be a touchdown for Austin High. Well, here come the Red Jackets, I believe, for Austin High. And uh, we're going to watch the stuff for the opposing broadcast, mm -hmm. like the class acts we are. We are. Here comes the Austin High band. What do you think here, Stu? Should we give, them an, uh, give the fans another halftime interview with Jet Joseph? Mm, I mean, call. we can talk about the first half. We can. It's dealer's yeah. choice right now. Yeah. You know, the Jet Joseph interview is good. It's very good. Very good. Quality, quality entertainment. Uh, there are people that like bands, though. I don't want to. Well, yeah. I know, but this is Austin High. Yeah. You just let it go. Okay. Well, you want to let's. You know what? I'm sure after Jet is done, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll They'll get, get enough of the Austin High performance. Yeah. If they want to go to the Austin High performance and they're desperate to, they yeah, can yeah. go on Vibe to the Austin High broadcast. Yeah. Just down the page. Hey, I hear they're not as good of a squad. Okay, that's from an Austin High parent. Yeah. So you're welcome, <laughs> Anderson Trojan Nation. Best in the business here. Okay, here's the Austin High Band. We're going to do a quick interview with Jed Joseph. We're going to give you the rest of the Austin High Band. And then before our Anderson Band comes out, I'm going to introduce their sponsors. But here we go with Jed Joseph. I'm Jet Joseph. I play corner, and I'll be graduating in 2024. Where you haven't graduated yet? That's not I said a, I'll be. Okay, great. well we don't know that yet. That's why. All I right, should be. Jet. So you're coming in this year at corner. What made you come back and want to play your senior year? Uh, kind of just like senior year, just kind of like I played football, with Pop Warner, and kind of just like seeing my brother play out like throughout high school just made me want to play, and just thought why not since it's my last year and just. What's your excitement level now that you've been here, taking the reps, started to do it, had Midnight Madness this week? What's your excitement level here? Uh, at first, I was kind of like timid about it, but now that I'm like getting reps and like actually getting into it, it's a lot more exciting and I'm ready for the season. What would your dad say about you saying one trait of yours is timidness? Probably not be very happy with me. Who's your favorite artificial turf installer? My dad. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's a stretch of a question. <laughs> All right. uh, your name is Jet. Yes, sir. Did you have an option to not be fast? Not really. No. All right. There, <laughs> just, uh, there's some things that are bestowed on you. Agreed. Some things you earn. I think you were bestowed with that name. Um, all right. There are many songs about planes. Are people with the name Jet? They're mostly very old now that I think Correct, about it. Correct, yeah. Uh, have you heard of any of them first? Like Joan Jett? Have you ever heard of Joan Jett? I don't think so. What about Jet Airliner? Steve Miller Band. What's the matter with you? What about leaving on a jet plane? Have you ever seen the yeah. movie Armageddon? That's an old one too. Yeah, how's that old? I don't know. Leaving on a jet? Peter, Paul, and Mary. That's have you old. ever heard of Peter, Paul, and Mary? Nope. Has Eddie ever heard of Peter, Paul, and Mary? Probably. <laughs> have you ever heard of uh, Puff the Magic Dragon? An old kid song. That was them. Maybe. You know what the other code of that is? We can't talk about it. No. <laughs> no, we can't. We keep it, keep it keep clean. Keep it clean. <laughs> keep it on the table, above board. All right. Um, senior year, what are you looking forward to most? And what class are you like? Ooh. Mm, senior year, I'm kind of looking forward to like off periods and like more like kind of like chilled out. And I'm not really looking forward to like English classes. But I'm more excited for football and baseball season. So you're an academic. Yeah. It's good. Truly a senior. You're, you've already hadn't even started the year like officially. Yeah. Senior you got that, artist. You got that senior artist. That's good. All All right. Right. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> All right. That was Jed Joseph. Boy, we we kind of gave him a hard time there. That interview. <laughs> Senior Itis, we touched on a lot of stuff, but that's Senior Jed Joseph. As a reminder, this is his first year back playing a critical role for the Trojan defense, following the footsteps of his brother, Jesse. Fun fact, both of them wore the number 20, the same number worn by Anderson, legend in his own mind, Edward Eddie Joseph. Yeah. 
Legacy Turf and Greens. Let me, speaking of Legacy Turf and Greens, I'm going to shout out to some of our Trojan Blue Gold sponsors, which are fabulous and friends of the Anderson program. We've got Covert Automotive, Philip Robinson, Brad Elliott, Joe Joseph, some of the greats over there at Covert. They'd probably give you a wheels discount. Capital Pain Institute, Matt Shockett, Dr. Matt Shockett over there would definitely give you a discount. Anthony and Sylvan Pools, Dave Rothwell, Prosperity Roofing, Hunter Malloy, Coach Mo, Workout Machine, Legacy Turf, as I mentioned. And I don't know if any of you guys have called, but call Eddie directly. I'll give you a cell phone later in the broadcast and ask for the wheels discount on Legacy Turf. He'll build you a putting green in your backyard, or hopefully he'll do one for me. Total Home Technologies, Shane Flores, Mr. Pop Warner, Shane Flores, Total Home Technologies, Pella Windows and Doors, that's, of course, Anthony Marino's outfit, Tony C's Pizza right there on Burnett Road, Discount Fence, Rocky Rodriguez, Southside Bank, again, my father-in-law, Randy Peschel, Big Southside Bank, Keith Donahoe, now the president of the bank, Central National Bank, La Aesthetics, my favorite, Golf Infinity Capital TI Group, Britt Hardeman's TI Construction Group, PostNet Slab, Le Slab Barbecue, Levity, Frytag's Florist, my favorite, Chad Frytag, just clipping those daffodils for you, <laughs> come Valentine's Day, poinsettias for Christmas, call Chad Frytag and get, Chad, the Frytags have been they are a legacy Anderson family, and Frytag's Flores in the old steak and ale on Burnett Road has been clutch for everything Anderson, mums for homecoming, you name it, call Frytag's Flores. Chad, you owe me a little bit, I went overboard there. Kernfield Golf Carts and the Cleanscapes. Trey Webb, if you have a office project that you need landscaping, Call old Trey Webb and get you a little landscape work from Cleanscapes. One of the best. Well, here we are at halftime, 7-7. Seven to seven. We're working diligently. Stu has been working diligently yeah. on making the stream better. <laughs> Got lots of complaints for what you pay for this broadcast. There's probably a couple too many texts sent my way. Um, but we're, we're going to get it work on one of those was my daughter's text we'll get it working as best we can under the AISD parameters we're going to get it going but it's 7-7 seven to seven. there's about 20 minutes till that second half kick 7-7 seven, seven. a hotly contested defensive battle between Austin High and your Anderson Trojans it's been all defense and uh, we're in for a doozy this second half. I, I don't know if my blood pressure can take it. But Austin High, you know, last year showed a little something in that surprise upset against us defensively. And there it is. The Austin High fight song. Sounds like uh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. That's yeah. right. Rip off. My high school was on Wisconsin, so I don't... It was. You yeah. know what Anderson's is? What? Fight on USC Trojans. Oh, we'll Fight see. On. Yeah. I kind of like it. It's fun to... But why would you pick Notre Dame, Austin? I, that's brutal. All right, here we go. We're going to give you the Anderson band. Before they come out, let me go through the sponsors, and then we're going to go radio silent and give you that crystal clear stream of the Anderson Band, but the Anderson Band, world famous, here are their sponsors, Blue Dragon Plumbing, the Lowy Law Firm, Mr. Gaddy's, be sure to get Double Ranch, Julie Wadelick with Nest Properties, Camelot Roofing, Pokey Joe's Barbecue, Risinger Build, Illuminaire Audiology, PostNet, Meredith Alderman and Claire Moore, Realtors with the Heyday Group at Cuppas, Button Fam, and Slab Barbecue. Slab Barbecue being two for two on the sponsorships. The Blue Gold sponsor and the Anderson Band sponsors. So with that, we'll leave you with the world-renowned Anderson Bells 
and Trojan Band. Take it away. And now, to 
continue your halftime entertainment. Please welcome Anderson's oldest and proudest tradition, the pride of Northwest Austin, your 2023 Trojan Marching Band! From majors to the Trojan Band are Laura Margo and Sophia Sierra. The band president is Zoe Hilf, and the vice president is Kara Spear. The Trojan Band Marchers of the Week are Ethan Orozco, Ian Ramos, Cohen Delgado, and Belle Robinson. The Anderson Band and Bells would like to wish the Austin Band and performers good luck this marching season. Tonight, the Trojan Band will perform a portion of their 2023 production entitled, Are You the One? Ladies and gentlemen, the Trojan Band!
ladies and gentlemen, the Trojan Band. The dance star directors are Chad Wood and Kenzie Hewitt. Front ensemble instructor is Clayton Stout and Ashley Rittenhauer. Directors of the Anderson Band are Cheryl Lee, Frank Nedley, and Jeff Cleveland. The Trojan Band would like to thank the entire Anderson community for their generosity during our 30th Flamingoing Fundraiser. We'd also like to thank the following businesses for their sponsorship. Blue Dragon Plumbing, The Lowy Law Firm, Mr. Gotti's Pizza, Julie Waitalik with Nest Properties, Camelot Roofing, Cookie Goes Barbecue, Rising Air Build, Illuminator Audiology, Coastnet, Meredith Alderson and Claire Moore, Realtors with the Heyday Group at Compass, Buttons Fan LLC, Slab Barbecue, and Austin Telco Federal Credit Union. Thank you for your support and go Trojan! Welcome back. We're diligently working on these this stream issue. But feel free to comment. We've been working all half time. Feel free to send me a text and let me know how it's working. If it is, we're trying everything to get you guys a better feed for this second half. As the Trojans and Austin High locked in a Defensive battle, 7-7 seven, seven at halftime. Trojans. We're gonna need our Sophia back to do the camera. She wanted to get some of that barbecue, I think. I'm sure she did. I wish she could film the Trojan. The brand new blow up is fantastic. There it is. Now you got a good view of those eyes, intimidating eyes. Never know which way they're going, <laughs> but they're blinking. Got a crew of dads down there trying to look buff, trying to look tough. But here we are, about to open the second half in this 7 7 District 6A opener. been all defense tonight. But likely we'll see the return of Liam McMillan back there to kick on the in punt for the Trojans. Although Pops and Cook have done a very, very nice job uh, thus far filling in. Well, we've got about four minutes, 26 seconds left in halftime. Great performance by the Anderson Band at Bells. Cheer is out there now. We're at Nelson Field. It's Friday, uh, Friday night. It's high school football, state of Texas, week three. Stream issues. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. I think I'm not going to say anything. You were jinxing it? No, I just... Yeah, just fingers crossed. All right, fingers crossed for the second half. 
We'll know soon enough. All right. Here comes the Trojan coaching staff on the field, and here come the Trojans onto the field to start this second half. We'll see what the coaches had in store for them, talking to them through halftime as they come out ready to start this second half. Three minutes, 7-7, seven, seven, Austin High versus Anderson. It's a tight one early on. Defensive battle. All right, Trojans are going to be set to receive uh, starting the second half. As you may recall, the Trojans won the toss, elected to defer to the second half. Trojans will have their first shot on offense to take the ball and go down the field and score. How about that, Trojan Nation? I'll take that any day of the week. As you recall, last game gets Rouse. Trojans had a one-point lead going into halftime, 21-20, and then gave up, I believe it was 28 unanswered points to Rouse, and it started on the uh, first drive of the second house, half. Rouse took the ball down and scored. But the Trojans will uh, receive here. Zayden Sharp, Jed Joseph will be back deep ready to go they've set the clock at 12 minutes for this third quarter and we will uh, be underway here in a minute onto the field comes the Austin high kick unit and uh, we are ready to go Trojan defense looks sharp in the Looked really sharp in the uh, first half defensively. Could not quite get on track. Got the ball deep, deep, deep in the in, uh, uh, Austin High territory and could not punch it in. Another missed opportunity we talked about earlier. But here we go in the second half. It's a new half, 7-7 seven, seven game. Here's Austin High with the kick. It's high, but it's a short kick. It's going to be fielded right there by Jed Joseph. Oh, he looked to cut back, and he just feet came up from under him. That's Jed Joseph. He's down at the 23-yard line. And here he comes. He's a little hobbled there, but a uh, got caught by the turf monster, which happens. Who laid that turf? AISD. Same people who have our internet. <laughs> Well, here we go. Second half. Obviously, in the first half, we saw a lot of two quarterback sets with Gerlich and uh, Gephardt onto the field. Now, it's it's just Gephardt. He's got Wadelick, Hatcher, Small on one side, Zayden Sharp on the other. Four receivers set. Dayton Williams in the backfield. Here's Gephardt. First down. He's low snap. He's going to fire it out there. And a little low there for Zayden Sharp. Had pressure. Looks like the timing got a little mixed up there with that low snap and a low throw from Gephardt to Zayden Sharp. Going to be second down and 10 for the Trojans from their own 23-yard line. Here's Gephardt. It's going to be an inside run right there to Dayton Williams. He's got nothing, nothing doing. Great. That defensive line for Austin High's been solid. Our defensive line's been solid. It's just been a great defensive battle here. Running game really not going for either team. It's going to set up third and ten for the Trojans. First possession of the second half. It sure would be good to get a first down here. 
Here's Gephardt. Got the play in. He's going to be in the shotgun. Looking. He's going to move. He got pressure. He's going to go straight up the middle. Good run by Gephardt. Still going all the way up to the 40. So a good anecdote there. I don't know if that was a call play or not, but the Trojans are going hurry up. But a quarterback keeper by Gephardt. All the way up to the 40. Here's Gephardt. Small in motion. Gephardt. He's going to keep it and nothing doing. He's going to be slung down over there right there. Around. It's going to be about a yard loss. Looked like he was going to give it to Dayton Williams, but he kept it himself. And it's going to be a loss of one for Anderson. Here is Gephardt. In the shotgun, we've got a we had a bunch formation of trips left, kind of a tight formation for Anderson, but with the familiar trips. Here it is. Gephardt rolls right. He's looking, he's looking deep. He's got him wide open. Zayden Sharp out of bounds, down around the 30. That's the big play we haven't seen yet by this Trojan offense. All the way down to the 30-yard line. A great pass. Great pass and catch. Good patience by Gephardt. Here's Gephardt moving quickly now. He's going to give to Dayton Williams straight up the middle. Nothing doing that defensive line for Austin Heisman. Great. Yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've kept Dayton in check tonight. Yeah, and some of those he is literally coming to the line and getting smashed. It looks like the momentum's on our side a little bit with the uh, stream as well now. So. Oh, you're kidding. This is a dream. Yeah. All right, here we go. Just in time. Gephardt from the shotgun. He is going to fake to Dayton Williams, rolling right, and he's just going to flick it out of bounds there. Wise move there. Very wise move. Nothing doing there. Didn't didn't even look like there was a receiver in the area. But, again, he's outside the tackle box and threw it outside. All right, here's Gephardt. We've got a third down. We're easily in uh, four-down territory. Michael Rendon into the game now at receiver for Anderson. All right, it's going to be Gephardt with Dayton Williams in the backfield. Looking, he's going to throw it deep to Ben Hatcher. Ben Hatcher runs. Oh, my gosh, almost a circus catch there. Good coverage by Austin High, but almost a circus catch. Good throw. Hatcher's down, a little shaken up. He's going to go stay back in the field, I believe, try to. But they're going to make him go out of the game. He was down there too, too long on the ground. They're going to put Gerlich in there at receiver. And we've got Rendon, Tristan, Small, and Gerlich in at receiver. Gephardt still at quarterback. Fourth down and nine. This is one where we need to capitalize. Um, Dayton Williams. Here's Gephardt. Drops, drops. He's looking. They got a spy on him. Got a man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, he had Ed Small and just out of the outstretched fingertips. Would have been an Anderson touchdown. Oh, pretty nice ball by Gephardt. Just out of Ed's fingertips. And it's going to be Austin High with a first down. Just kind of a wasted opportunity for uh, Anderson there driving the ball all the way down the field to the Austin High 28-yard line, and it's going to be first down Austin High from their 28-yard line. Davenport at quarterback in the pistol. He's going to turn and give. Trojans, oh, got it. Good tackle, Jed Joseph. A lot of people in there. Good pressure. Nice little cut back there by Bats on the... Uh, on the run, showed good patience. I believe that was Bats. But the Anderson defense stiffening right there on that. Um, really, he had nowhere to go and a nice cutback. Got positive yards. Gonna set up second and six for Austin High. Here's Davenport. He's gonna turn and he's gonna give right there. There goes a uh, nice gain there by the Trojans. I mean, by Austin High there, a first down, a nice run off tackle there by Bats. Getting a little bit of momentum here. 
Austin High on the move. Stu still working on the stream. Still working on the stream. Diligently. It's going to be first and 10. Austin High from their own 41 yard line in the pistol. Davenport and Bath. Simon Burns showing some pressure. And they're going to give it straight up the middle. Nice little cutback. Liam McMillan back in the game. First action today with a tackle and about a six yard gain. So they're moving the ball. Austin High just running the ball. Kind of looks like they've made some second half adjustments trying to pound away at Anderson. Sets up a second and five from near midfield. Here's Davenport. He's got bats in the pistol. He's going to turn. He's going to give. A little cut back. Spit. Cut back. Still up. Holding. Yeah, we're going to get a flag there. Two flags. Three flags. Okay. So that one's coming back in a big way. Pretty nice moving there by Bats. He spun. He spun. But a big hold there by Austin High on Tomas Benitez. By the way, it's Tomas Benitez's birthday. Tomas Benitez's birthday today. Today? Okay. Today. I believe he would be 18, would be my guess. But a, but a pretty good run um, by Bats, but it's gonna be called back, and really it's just a replay of the down here. It's gonna be second and four for Austin High. Again, they're showing some momentum running the ball. And uh, here we go, second and four, Austin High, out of the pistol. Bats running the ball well. He's going to turn and give. Good pressure. Good pressure there. Middleton. First down. Calvin Ballinger into the game. For River Anderson. They're running away from Jack Middleton here. But Which is the proper response. Yeah, it is. Getting positive yard yardage. Bats running the ball well out of the pistol. I don't think they will move from this, but bunch formation. Davenport at quarterback. He's going to turn. He's going to fake it. He's going to look to throw. He's got some room to run. Gage Webb chasing. They're going to chase him out of bounds after a pretty big gain of about eight yards down to the Anderson 40. So a good run by Davenport on the naked bootleg there. Good coverage. But it's going to be a uh, second and two. Again, they're putting themselves in good, Austin High in good down and distance here. Putting a lot of pressure on the Anderson defense. Here's Davenport. And he's going to have bats behind him. He's going to turn. He's going to give straight away. Troj is taking all blocks. It's going to be a tackle from Burns. And number 62, Brandon Gonzalez in the game at the nose for Anderson. All right, it's going to be first and 10 for Austin High. Methodical drive for Austin High, running the ball. Bats finally out of the game. They've got Gonzalez in there, another good running back. Here's, here's Davenport at quarterback for Austin High. Davenport is going to turn. He's going to give it outside, a hold there, but a good jump tackle right there, Tomas Benitez. We'll see if there's a call on the hold. There's a flag on the near side, but it looked like a big hold there on Austin High. We'll see what they call is. Okay, it's going to be a legal procedure against Austin High. It's going to push him back five yards and it's going to be first and 15 replay the down first and 15 Austin high 526 this has been a extremely large long drive there's Maldi going nuts getting the defensive play call in but here we go first and 15 Trojans look to bring pressure motion coming wide Trojans do bring pressure so Paul, pop screen, nice, very good. It's gonna be an incomplete pass. Gonna set up a second and 15 for Austin High. Here's Zane Cook, comes in for Gonzalez. Again, this defense has been out there what seems like forever, but in for a long, 
long time here, but in good position here with second and 15 for Austin High with 5.02 left in the third quarter. Trojans tied 7-7 against Austin High. Man in motion for Austin High. Here comes blitz for the Trojans here. Pressure, Jack Middleton, very nicely done by the Trojan defense. They brought Hodges Smith up the middle. Jack Middleton came around with the sack. It's gonna set up a long third down for Austin High. Heatley comes in the game, replacing Ballinger. And it's gonna be third and about 17 after that Middleton sack. All right, here we go. Wilder Davenport at quarterback. He's gonna turn, he's gonna hand off to Gonzalez. He's got room to run over there, but a good, oh. All right, he's gonna probably get 10, but it looks to be that it could be four down territory for Austin High here. It's gonna be fourth and 10. I would assume they're gonna go for it. But uh, this is obviously the biggest play of the second half now. Fourth and 12 for Austin High. They're at the Trojan 43 yard line, or excuse me, rather, the Trojan 37 yard line. We need to stop. Okay, there's gonna be a timeout here by Austin High, we hope. Yeah, burn their first timeout of the second half, but it's gonna be a fourth and 11 with 344 left in the third quarter. Trojan seven, Maroon seven, in a, what has been a defensive battle thus far. Now, both teams have moved the ball throughout this game, but getting it in the end zone has been an issue, and hopefully it continues to be an issue on this fourth down. It's always key here in plays like this for the defense to stay at home, make sure there's no busted coverages, but it's going to be fourth and 11 for Austin High. You've got Gonzalez flanking Davenport. Now moves over to the right and it's going to be 4th and 11. Here we go. Trojans are bringing pressure. Straight up the middle. Turn. Knock that ball down. Oh Lord. Oh my goodness. Good coverage there. Colin Haynes. It's going to be a turnover on down. Good defensive stop by that Trojan defense. We really, really needed that. They were looking deep, I think, for Bridges again. Great coverage by Colin Haynes, having a whale of a game here. Obviously, he is accounted for the only, the only touchdown for uh, the Trojans here in this ball game. But a big play, a really big play. The Trojans will set up shop here at the their own 37 yard line. Gephardt at QB for the Trojans. Man in motion is Ed Small. Gephardt takes the snap, he's looking, he's gonna run it and he is slung down. Boy, that defensive line for Austin High has been putting pressure on us all game. They are tough. Well, there's 3.22 left in the third quarter. This game is flying by with all the defense. But it's going to be second and 14 for the Trojans from their own 33-yard line. And small, I'm mean, going to flip it out wide to Wade Lick, and it's going to be low. It falls incomplete. And it's going to be third and 13. Another third and long for this Trojan offense. And somehow you wonder if there's a way we can break Ed Small loose with some sort of pattern down the middle and let him do his match. But here's Gephardt. It's going to be third and 13. Two minutes, 57 seconds left in the half. Austin High looks to bring pressure. They back back out. He's going to be sacked. Boy, that Austin High defensive line has earned their keep today. They are bringing pressure massively against this Anderson O-line. 
Well, here comes the Trojans on to punt, and it's going to be Aiden. Adrian Pops going to be on for the punting unit for Anderson. Clock's moving. It's 2.30 left in the third quarter. Anderson is going to punt. And um, on this fourth and 21. Here's Pops. Good snap. He's going to get it off and a good punt. It's going to bounce, take a Anderson bounce. It's going to keep moving. Now they're going to pick it up right there. Midfield. What? We downed it, and for some reason, the Austin Hine meathead defensive end picked it up like he was going to run it. But the ball was downed, and we will have the ball at the 40-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10. Austin High from the 40. And here comes the Trojan defense onto the field. Obviously, I'm kidding about the Trojan defense lineman. That's Matt Malone. He's been killing us all day. But here are the Trojans into the defensive set from the 40. Davenport at quarterback, flanked by Gonzalez. Davenport looking, throws over the middle, high. Good coverage there, Grayson Lake, the sophomore, good coverage. But it's gonna set up second down and 10. For Austin High. Davenport signaling the play to the Trojan receivers. Gonzalez in at running back. Bats in the slot. He's been dangerous all game, but here we go. Second down. They're going to fake it. Oh, and a missed tackle right there. Rimmers, a good tackle right there by Liam McMillan. All right, that's going to make it third and two, but a good, good play there by McMillan just back in the game. Kind of a, obviously a first down saving tackle, but here we go. It's going to be third and two right from the Austin High 48 yard line. Here is a uh, minute 25 left. One of eight, one of eight. Davenport still at quarterback, empty backfield. Third down and two. Man in motion. And it looks like Maldi called timeout right before they snapped it. Yeah, Saw something on the. Uh, Saw something, obviously, Austin High was trying to do and uh, quickly called timeout. How's the stream coming, Stu? You know. It is what it is. Sometimes it's not your night. You think there's, is there any hope? There's always hope. Okay, I like it. Once you think it's l really hitting, then I'll, I'll send word out that we're checking out trying something new okay i like it well those of us that are those of y'all that are sticking with this broadcast we're trying something new which should be should be very exciting <laughs> we've got a minute 11 left in the third quarter it is seven to seven anderson and austin high district opener trojans look like we're going to bring pressure from the outside. Burns and Smith. Here's Davenport. He's going to snap it. He's going to look and give it right up the middle. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. It's going to be fourth and one from the 49-yard line. Good pressure. Ballinger in there. Kind of sniffing that out. But it's going to be fourth and one. And I would assume Austin High will go for this. And here's the Trojan defense with an opportunity to snuff something out. It all starts on the offensive and defensive line, but here we go. One man out. Davenport going under center. He's going to try. No, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He's right there. He's short. Yeah, he is short of the first down. What a stop by the Trojan defense. It's going to be a first down. Anderson. I don't know. Why Austin High players think they're gonna? That was the first down, and he stuffed it out. But great pressure from the offense. We've been touting that. And 
Austin Hyde defensive line, but that Anderson defensive line stepped up and sniffed out that quarterback sneak. It's going to be first down Trojans. What a defensive effort by the Trojans right there. All right, where well, it looks like Gerlich has come into the game at quarterback here with a new look. All right, they're going to give it. I think that's no, it's that afflicted over there. They, it's that trick, Gus Malzahn. I keep saying Gus Malzahn. It's the old Auburn play where they do zone read and then he pops it out and looks to throw. The Gerlich just into the game, a little wide for Wade. It's going to be second and ten. Gerlich. At QB now for the Trojans. And Gerlich is going to snap. I think he gives that. I think that's Dominic. Straight up the middle, he's going to get. He's going to get three yards. Nine seconds left here in the third quarter. I think that's going to be in the end of the third quarter. It's going to set up a third and seven for the Trojans. This pivotal, pivotal, pivotal moment in the game. Going into the fourth quarter, Trojans have the ball, have momentum on that defensive stop. It's the end of the third quarter. Seven to seven, Austin High and Anderson. We're gonna keep working on this screen if it kills us. But here we go. 12 minutes gonna be left in this ball game. It's been a defensive battle, boy. It, this almost takes more life out of you than the shootouts offensively. Yes. Or the streams. No, the streams. <laughs> How about working on a Wi-Fi stream? Fighting the battle of the stream while they're fighting the yeah. battle of, of Austin down here. It's, Absolutely. Uh, here we go. Um, it's going to be a massive third down to start the, this fourth quarter. Gerlich in at quarterback for the Trojans. Third and seven. Out of the shotgun. Here's Gerlich. He's looking. Moves up in the pocket. Looking to scramble. Looking for a man open. He's got a man. Fires it. And Zayden Sharp. Great running catch. Low catch. Way to keep the play going, Gerlich. First down Trojans. But it looks like the refs are whistling this. There's a sound. We'll see what the flag is. I don't even see where the flag is. The refs are going to talk about it. We'll see what the call is. They're still conferencing. They're at the 35-yard line. A big gain there by Gerlich rolling out, evading pressure, hitting Sharp on the run. Great catch by Zayden. It's really come on as a receiver, not just a deep threat, but as a full receiver. All right, that was a great conference. We'll see. He's talking to head referee, talking to Coach Hatcher explaining what he wants we'll see what coach calls but see if they signal anything let's see looks like he's we're gonna wait here because he's gonna go talk to the austin high uh coach and i think explain what the penalty or the hold up is here well from the start of the fourth quarter, the Trojans have moved it all the way down to the Austin High 30, or excuse me, 28 yard line. It's going to be a first and 10 Trojans, but we there was a flag on that last play. They haven't moved the ball, and we're going to see what the Trojans elect to do or what the explanation is. And we're still going to work on that screen for you people. But it has taken a good minute. Some of you may have poured into a War and Peace or something by Dostoevsky. While we wait for this official 
conference. See, they talked to Hatcher and it took two minutes. Now, Austin High Coach is... Okay, first down, Anderson. We're going to move the chains and we're going to play. All of that for nothing. I think we declined the penalty, but... Again, here we go. First and ten, Gerlick at quarterback. Dayton Williams beside him. First down, Trojans. Trojans in there. Four receiver set. They're going to fake it. Flip it out small. It's right back. Room. Straight up the middle. Good goes up. Oh, they went down to the six yard line. He finally got him loose. We're going to go quick. Trojans are going quick. Huddling up. What a run by Ed. Run after catch. Here we go. Moving quick. Here is Gerlich. Takes a snap. He's going to give it to Dayton. Not a lot of room to work with. Again, great pressure there by the Austin High defense. Boy, they were ready. Seemed like we waited just a just a second. All right, this is kind of where you want to settle down. Let's get a. We've got two to three plays that we've got here here in this fourth quarter. Clock moving. Eleven minutes left. It's going to be second and goal from the six yard line. Here's Gerlich. Here's Gerlich. They're bringing pressure. He licks. He's got a little room to work with. He flicks it over there just short. Oh, kind of a heads-up play. Tried to flip it at Dayton Williams. Look a little close to the line of scrimmage, yeah, too. Yeah, he was very close. Now, remember, you can go to the line of scrimmage as long as you don't cross it. And I think he was right there. Mm -hmm. No flags on that play. It's going to be a massive third and six. Obviously, I, I want to think touchdown here. But the question is, would they let Zane Cook kick it from here? And at this tight of a ball game, maybe interesting to see. They bring pressure oh. again. Oh, oh good what block, block there. Yeah. Looking to throw it back oh. across the field. He just overthrew it. Ah. Guy just waited a hair. What a block there by Dead Wins. Yeah, they're gonna send in they're gonna send in Zane Cook to try to kick this and make this a three point game, which at this point is a, is a pretty good idea. Points have been come to, hard to come by in this game. And they're going to stick Zayden Cook in there to see if the Trojans can take the lead. A well-designed play there. Just held it too long. Threw it out of bounds. But a great block by Dayton Williams. Boy, he cut that guy. That's an experienced football play right there. All right, here is Zane Cook to kick this. we got to snap it quick. They get it off. Good set. Good hold. We got it off. All right, good. Holy smoke. He made it. Zane Cook, field goal, Trojans, holy smokes. Some people may say that wasn't a pretty kick. That may have been one of the prettiest That's kicks I've ever seen. Right. Boy, they brought pressure from everywhere. It looked a little dicey, but the Trojans have the lead 10-7 to on Zane Cook's right foot. I couldn't be happier with a kicker than Zane Cook right there. So a good drive by the Trojans right there. Obviously that huge third down conversion. Gerlich to Zane Cook for a first down. A good run by Gerlich. Couldn't punch it in, but got points, which we've been lacking all year. We've got it down there seemingly a couple of times. All right, get, good luck, Trojan Nation. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let McMillan kick off here. We're going to try to reboot a computer and get this stream working. Um, so we're going to go down for a minute. I don't know what. I always like to watch the recap. What's it do to the recap? Do we know? Maybe edit it together. Okay, <laughs> yeah, here's yeah, McMillan. Yeah. Oh, he's going to punch it down the Ooh. middle. Stay in bounds, stay in bounds, stay in bounds, stay in bounds, stay in bounds. It does. Oh, he's going to pick it up. Trojans are down there. Good. Good coverage. Hey, a good kick. Yeah. The rest. Oh, that's a flag? How did they not call that? I mean, Grayson Lake's on the ground. 14 for Austin High is murdering him. Okay, we're going to try to do it. All right. Here we go. Are we doing it? Are we still live? We're not live. 
I'm going to keep talking like we do so I can say sharp. Mask. Son of a gun. We're up. We're up. All right, here we go. For the epic I conclusion, think, I think we're live here. Yeah. We got six minutes, twenty-eight seconds left. We got Gephardt at quarterback. We got a Trojan lead of ten to seven. Dayton Williams in the backfield. Here's Gephardt. Drops back. He's got pressure. He's going to nope. scramble away from it. He's going to scramble. Little fake oh. there by Gephardt. Right down there. Oh, they're jumping over there on the Austin High sideline. They like that hit. But it's going to give us a third and ten. Um, for the Trojans right here. We're checking that stream. Let me know. Third and 10 for the Trojans. 5.48 left on the clock. 10 to 7 Anderson in this thriller to open up district play. Here's Gephardt. Out of the shotgun. He's going to look to pass. He looks. He's going to evade pressure. Here comes more pressure. He's got a man. Oh, well, wow. Tristan Waybrook. Great catch with his hands right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful play. Great throw by Gephardt right over the incoming Austin High defenders. Gets it to Wadelick. Great catch on the run by Wadelick. First and 10. Trojans moving. Massive third down conversion. 5-17 on the clock. Clock is moving. So are the Trojans. Here we go. They're going to fake it to Dayton. Oh, he's going to be wide open. So, oh, he caught it. He's going to score. Trojans touchdown. Touchdown, Nick. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Michael Rendon for the touchdown. Wide open. Busted coverage. Rendon just into the game. What a catch. What a throw. He was so open it almost looked like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here, here's Zane Cook on to kick the extra point. God, that makes me so happy for Rendon. Touchdown Trojans, a massive play in this opener for district play. Oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous. That guy coming off the edge for Austin Hunts, and he's going to block it every time. Yeah. But here we go. Trojans touchdown, 17 to 7, 456 left in the game. Trojans defense has been on point all game. In an exciting thriller, 17 to 7. Mm. Here we go. This is exciting stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, McMillan is going to be set to kick. 4.56 left. I'm so excited. 17-7, to 7, Anderson over Austin High. What a play. What a time for the offensive staff of Anderson to dial up. Michael Rendon, wide open touchdown from Gephardt. Great pass. Here's McMillan to kick. He's going to kick it on the ground. Got that onside. Look. But they're going to scoop it right there, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds. Ooh, they go Shippy over there. Yeah. That's they're trying to chop a tree down. Yeah, that's um, right over there. The big tight end for Austin High's brother plays QB backup for the Texas Longhorns. And that's right over there. Good pickup, good hands guy. He's going to have it uh, at the 39-yard line for Austin High. Here we go. 4.53 left. 
453 left, first and 10. Austin High. A little motion from Bats. Davenport's going to take it. He's going to go deep, way deep. Jed Joseph back there. Okay. Yeah. Good just, defense. Yeah, there. just enough, right? Just enough. Hey, we need Trying to get that ball to Rector deep. Who's in for River? Mark? Hey, Mark should be able to beat 77. Mark should be able to beat him. Fast. All right, here we go. Doubles, 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 doubles. Second down and 10. One in the slot. One in the slot. Good eyes. Good eyes. They're going to give it to Rodriguez. He's got a little bit of room. Gage Webb wraps him up. Oh, there we go. Gage Webb had him. Rodriguez very nicely shook him off. He hasn't skipped. Uh, hmm? I don't think the stream's working. We're working on it. Beautiful. <laughs> Still working on the stream. Yeah. All right, here we go. 420 left. Fourth quarter. Third down for Austin High. We'll see uh, Trojan defense if they could step up one more stop it would be massive in this game. One more stop. So it's 420 left in the fourth quarter. Anderson 17, Austin High 7. This district opener, it's been a defensive battle all game long, I guarantee you. If the Trojans can finish this off, Coach Maldi will be happy, Coach Hatcher will be happy, Trojan Nation will be happy, but they've got to be proud of the defensive effort by this Trojan defense thus far. Here we go. It's going to be third and seven. No doubt this is four down territory for Austin High. Davin Porter, quarterback Rodriguez, next to him. It's going to be third and eight. And in motion. Davenport, pressure off the edge. Got a man. It's Bridges. First down for Austin High. Going to stop the clock with 412 left. Good pitch and catch there by Davenport to Rob Bridges. Had good pressure on the quarterback there, but also good control not to take that hit. Yeah, it was Poe coming in there, I believe, uh, with that pressure. Zach Poe off the edge on the blitz. Here's Davenport. He's going to give it straight up the middle. Just a heck of a play right there. Yeah. I think that's Brandon Gonzalez in the nose tackle position there. A nice play. Sounds like we've got a little better streaming. So the first positive note for the Trojan stream team. All right, 328 left, 17 to 7. They're gonna get. They're gonna flick it out there to number three. Here comes Burns. Oh, yes. the swarm. The tackle. The swarm again. Right. Clock still moving. The uh, just yeah. so everybody knows the uh, stream may not be pristine, but the uh, replay will be there for you, so you can relive all oh, the good. glory. It is gonna yes. be good. Good. Yes. Well, you'll hear my blathering when the stream is bad, which is <laughs> always key. Okay, this is a massive third down here after that completion director. It's 2.50 left. Trojans up 17-7. Here's Davin Porter, quarterback for Austin High. He's going to give it right up there to Bats. That little room. Trojans, right containment. Oh, almost a tackle. Look out of it. And there he goes. Down the sideline. Ah, going to be a touchdown for Bats. Oh, just a great run. Mm -hmm. A couple missed tackles. We almost had him. We had great containment. And he just found that hole and slipped through. Oh my goodness. Just when you thought we could salt this game away. No. 233 left. Austin High bats on a huge 45 yard run. Here's the extra point for Austin High. It's gonna be up and it is good. 
So, we, so it's we'll see if there's a flag on the play on this extra point, which is a little dicey. Sometimes you see that as a unsportsmanlike or a, some sort of personal foul. Hopefully not on the Trojans, but it's with 2:33 left. It's Austin High 14, Anderson 17. Man, after Sterling defense all game, yeah, that one little breakaway. Yeah, the thing that's defense has to be perfect all game long. That's right. It's like being a lawyer. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> okay, boy, this is too exciting. I'd rather have just stuffed him right there. But two thirty three left. Anderson seventeen, Austin High fourteen. Austin High, I believe, only has one timeout left. I can't see. Can you see if that's yellowed over there? Looks like Anderson has two and Austin that has That does one. look like a shade of yellow, but it could also be a dirty screen. I'm not entirely sure. Could be screen. a little dirty. AISD needs some new Jumbotron. Needs some new animatronics. A little tartar buildup, maybe. A little I don't tartar buildup. <laughs> agreed. All right. Looks like we've got the hands unit in here for uh, Anderson. Even got Brady Gephardt into the hands unit. Mm. And just Jed Joseph lone deep. But we've got obviously expecting some sort of onside kick. Anderson is. Uh, we'll see with 233 left. Not a lot of time in this ball game. Seems like Anderson can run some clock regardless if they can recover this. But we'll see how. Austin High sets up. It looks like they're setting up to kick deep. It doesn't look well. I could be wrong. But here we go. Here it is. Hands team on for Anderson. It's going to be an onside oh. kick. Oh, oh, scooped up. Yes, perfect. Beautifully. Holy smokes. Boom. Adrian pops. Get there. Put him in at third base. Yeah. yeah Holy that was a great smokes. Scoop. Not even a bobble there. Hands team pops. I love it. Unbelievable. So the Trojans are going to set up shop at the Austin High 49-yard line. I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get over that. That was, that was with authority, that kick. And I love the way he did it. Low, lot, low on the ground, bouncing. Pop scooped it, fell on it. First down, Trojans. Here yeah. we go. All right. They're going to give it to Dayton. Straight up the middle. Got oh. room to work with. That is a great start. Yeah. There you go. That's a big run right there. Eight yards on first down. We're going to let clock go. Austin High not yet going to burn a timeout here. So the tr Trojans look like they're going to run it, be able to run it down inside the two-minute mark. There's 2.09 left. Anderson holding on to a three-point lead, 17-14. First district game for both teams. Here's Gephardt, 13 left on the play clock. I love going on the play clock. Going to try to milk it as far as we can. And here we go. Here's Gephardt. Takes a snap. He's going to give it to Dayton. Straight up the middle. Not a lot to work with, but he still moves a little bit. We'll see. Ah, come on. That is not a very good spot there. I don't know why. They, they just burned their last time out, which is massive. Yeah, yeah. That's. I almost said earlier in that Rouse game, you know, oh, they burned a timeout early on. It didn't matter. Now it matters. Oh, yes. Yeah, every everything matters at this point. That's right. And even like those extra oh, last, that last effort just to take a couple seconds off or whatever, all of that adds up at the end. Yes, it does. The inches we need are all around us. That's right. All right, a third and three. Now, let's get the first down here and not have to worry about this, but you have to wonder if the Trojans are held short here, do you go ahead and go for it on fourth down? It would be fourth and short, presumably. But how about um, this? Let's get that out of our brains. Yeah. Let's get a first down here. Let's, yeah, let's just get three down. here. Let's just do that. Right. Right. How about let's get like... How about six? 40. 40. Yeah, six, 46. It, yeah. yeah. All right. So it's going to be third and three from the Austin High 42-yard line. Trojans up 17-14. Dayton Williams in the backfield next to Gephardt. You would think, presumably, Gephardt 
could. He's been a great runner this far. Dayton Williams, obviously a good runner. He's talking to Ed Small. I don't want to give anything away here, but I'd love to see. I'd love to see um, Brady salt this away with the first down. Good for the front. All right, here we go. A minute 33 left. Trojans third and three from the 42-yard line. And they'll start the play clock on the referee's whistle. No, they'll start the game clock, which is weird. A minute 37 left. They're going to give it. No, Brady's going to keep. He bolts outside. He gets a first down, and he slides down. Way to go, Brady. Get hard. That's what I called it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> So the zone read keeper for Gephardt, one cut, first down, tough running, a minute 19. Austin Hyde cannot stop the clock again today. We need two or three good snaps, and it's let's finish this math, game. Right. That's right. All right, we got Ed Small way deep at safety, which, by the way, makes me feel better. We're going to do the shotgun snap, kind of the nouveau kneel, but we'll see. 55 seconds left. Gephardt in the shotgun. He's going to take a knee. 48 seconds. The Trojans are going to have to snap it one more time. It's up 17-14. And a big one here at Nelson Field to open district play. We need one more good snap for the Trojans. 30 seconds left. Screw. Come on, baby. Here we go. Here it is. Thank you, buddy. There it is. Gephardt does it, and that'll end the game. Yeah. Trojans, 20 seconds left. They're going to win this 17-14 oh, in a, I mean, a great high school football game. Yeah, that was, that was a, that was a rivalry game, like played out, pillar to post, right? Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, evenly matched at both. But the defense, oh. the Trojan defense, man. It was awesome. Ah, it they, truly was awesome. I mean, when you look at where they were two, you know, the last two games, last two weeks, and yes. what they did tonight and how they've adjusted, man, that's just – And then fun. Yeah, and then Brady uh, just out back yeah. there just – That uh, was big. The smart runs, the yeah. smart scrambles, not trying to do too much, doing yeah. just enough. Uh, well, just. and it, both – Brady and Gerlich had that good third down yeah. that got us down there for Zane Cooks. But on that same rollout, Gephardt with the touchdown. I'm so proud of Michael Rendon. That was a great catch and a great touchdown that really won the game. Um, but it, so exciting. So proud of the Trojans. This was a must win. And it, just the way the schedule sets up, you got to win these games against these teams yeah. to have a shot at the playoffs. And it, I, it's weird to say that after game one, but it's absolutely massive a massive victory trojans take revenge against austin high winning um 17 to 14. and now you head to whataburger you head to whataburger me meet, meet uh my man there hey good call to rendon telling napoli that was awesome that broke it open well, a lot of fun one and oh in district feels good as that we, yeah, that's the Trojan alma mater, one of the great alma maters in sports, certainly at the high school level. But a great victory for Anderson to open district play. So we're going to do a little homework on the stream, but a good win is the Trojan offensive and defensive assistants up here celebrating going down to meet the team but it, just a fun fun way to start district play heck yeah man that's that's the best of friday night gets right there yeah it does so uh, next week we'll be at burger another big is aisd stadium with probably similar issues although burger <laughs> sometimes will get away with having a good wi-fi but what's interesting about that game is another monumental game potentially winnable for Anderson and if you can win that game mm -hmm. you're really really looking at uh, a possible playoff uh, situation you got to take care of who you can take care of and as we talked about 
We open with Austin High, then we have Bowie, then we have Johnston. All those teams kind of vying for those third mm -hmm. and fourth place. You know, you never know what's going to happen, but those spots seem to be available for the team who is really going to play the best and win early in the season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, you know, Johnson uh, had a tough game against uh, Lake Belton. Yeah, they did. And, uh, you know, it's um, – it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. You got to bring everything, and the, like the adjustments they made to this game from last game yep. were so impressive. They got to do that again. Yeah, they do. And again, and just like them, I'm going to be inspired. Our our stream. We're going to go to the go back to the playbook. Yeah. Let's, we're going to be we're going to bring it next game. And uh, the, the good thing is, you just blame it on ASD. That's that's <laughs> simple rule. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you lose a football game, blame it on the school district. Yeah. We we'll blame the Wi-Fi on the school district. <laughs> uh, but. It is, it is going to be a fun, fun, fun start of the season because we're going to have games like this that are winnable as long as we can do what we can do, control what we can control. And, I mean, listen, there was adversity there. Yeah. When we, we intercepted a pass down deep on fourth down and, and didn't really do anything offensively, mm -hmm. had to punt it, kind of gave them a really short field. We had a great defensive stop yeah. and really unlucky, honestly, Ball bounces off a Trojan defensive back right into the – I mean, it could have bounced anywhere. It bounced right into the hands of a yeah. Austin High for their only – well, their only touchdown until about two minutes left. But one thing I'm really proud of is I can't get over Pops fielding that ball like Mike Schmidt <laughs> over there. Yeah. But getting that first down. Yeah. That first run by Dayton, he hadn't had room like that. The offensive line for Anderson stepping up in that moment mm -hmm. to provide that hole – all those guys digging deep, conditioning. You look at stuff like the little things, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Getting that first down, I get part. I felt like he would keep it on there, and he's such a good runner in space. He's tough, really tough to corral. So, what a great win by Anderson! Really a great start to the season, and uh, the Trojans, mighty proud, mighty proud. Great way to start district play. Giving, giving them, obviously, um, a, a path. We can win district. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So let's do it. But here we go. What a good start for their Anderson. Good bounce back game after Rouse, for sure. What you said earlier, Stu, is so right. We, we, we had some defensive letdowns, and they exposed some things that we seem to have remedied. Mm -hmm. Tackling, um, that gap-fitting but really stopping those runs up the middle. And obviously that last run by Baths was kind of a one-man show. Mm -hmm. we, we had him dialed in and contained, but he just broke a couple of tackles and, and took it to the house. But yeah. Again, a great showing by the Trojans. Excitement. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'll be so excited. I've had two Diet Cokes <laughs> jazzed up. This is a lot of fun. But here we go. Yeah. Trojan football district play. We'll, again, we'll be taking on Bowie next week. I believe it's Friday night. Is it the 15th Friday night? Yes. All right. 8 p.m. kick. Mm -hmm. How yeah. about that? Yeah. A little sark mm -hmm. after dark. Yeah. Well, the temperature's dropping. Absolutely. So. Yeah, we'll be at Burger, and then we'll be right back here at I.I. Nelson Field, Nelson Stadium, in two weeks to take on it. Buda Johnson and the Wi-Fi here will probably have gotten a touch or two worse by then. <laughs> well, we'll we'll remedy it. We'll, we'll figure out what we have to do to make it happen. Yeah. So so we've got Bowie, then Johnston, then I believe there's a it's our off week. Then we go Westlake, Lake Travis. No, check that. <laughs> we go Aikens, Westlake, Lake Travis, Del Valley, Dripping Springs. So it really, we go one game at a time. Bowie will obviously have our attention. South Austin, rival of Anderson and a lot of AIST teams. A big, big 6A school. Last year, Anderson took the lead going into halftime against Bowie in a really hard-fought game. Bowie came out on top. Bowie's had the edge on Anderson for a few years. I will tell you at the lower level, the freshman level, and in the middle school level, we have taken it to Bowie at the past few years. So it'll be 
super interesting to see how this thing shakes out. I'm going to keep talking because we didn't, we missed a, it wasn't that long though. We missed one drive. Yeah, just the one. And they'll piece it together. Yeah. And they'll look beautiful and crisp. Pristine. That's so good. And now that everybody's off the internet, our stream was actually looking pretty good there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it is funny because you're up here and the ethernet sometimes doesn't work doesn't work right now and so we're you're going off a wi-fi hotspot yeah. and it's almost like you know last year this ought to make you feel better <laughs> house park uh -huh. austin high their broadcast working ours shut down <laughs> is that crazy yeah that was the last year yeah and i mean of nothing then it's like whoever signal clamps in more mm -hmm. that's my technical expertise yeah no I, that sounds about right I mean, that is, if that's not some of the best no. expertise. We'll, we'll, go, we'll practice streaming this week. I'm sure uh, Coach uh, Merle and Suna will have me running sprints or something. Well, it's pretty, it's pretty funny because <laughs> the, uh, I mean, it, it is, it, it's so difficult. I mean, I am the worst. I got Spectrum. Now, shout out to Spectrum Internet at home. Mm. And I did the self-install, mm -hmm. and it took me probably 20 minutes before i called spectrum and said let's go ahead and go with the real install yeah okay yeah. well how do you feel two and one yeah really what counts is one and oh yes no you know it's um football uh, in and of it's it just like no other sport is so like week to week just the emotional ups and downs and sometimes it's like uh, you know you get to the end of the season. It's more like moral victories and things like that. If it's been you yeah. know, whatever, right. or everything hangs in the balance. And all these games for playoffs, and then yeah. you get to the playoffs, and then it's like oh, one and done. And yeah, it's tough. Yeah, but this yeah, I feel good after this one. We yeah. can just like breathe easy and go home, go run through Whataburger uh, drive through. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Bama, Texas tomorrow. Okay, all right, you're going. You're going. Yeah. You're heading, when, how, okay. I'm going well, tomorrow. Well, let's wrap it's this thing. Be big. Yeah. yeah. No wonder you're not going to be sleeping. But no, I, I mean, I, the problem is that in these games, I you're so in like it matters. Uh -huh. You you were just talking about it. Like you only have so many high school football football games really, uh -huh. and you're so invested. And then you get home and you you're jazzed up from the excitement, and then you I can't go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you got to. You need like an ice bath or something. You <laughs> Maybe just a warm bath. Or something. Maybe a warm cup of milk. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> and a cookie. Well, this has been exciting. 17-14. Anderson victory. Anderson goes 1-0 and in this district play. Sets up a matchup against, a critical matchup against Bowie next week from Burgerfield. Well, thank you all very much for Stu. Way to work. Sorry. It's all second half, but yeah. no, it's all good. appreciate your work. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm here for. That's beautiful. All right. From Nelson Field, final score, Anderson 17, Austin High 14. We'll see you next week for Burger Center, Anderson Bowie. Thanks and good night.